Today we're driving the all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. This is a TRD Sport double cab with the five foot bed. It's also two wheel drive, has an eight speed automatic and a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder that makes 278 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. Let's walk you around this new Tacoma. We'll talk about what it's like inside and out, take it for a drive, give you guys some driving impressions. We've been out here in Malibu, California, today testing out all the different variants of Tacoma. Let's get into it. One thing you do need to know about this particular truck and a lot of the trucks we've been testing, they have pre-production door panels. So all this basically untextured plastic is not production ready. So I'm uh, not sure why we're getting so close to the launch date in these Tacomas and we don't have production door panels, but that's okay. It says right here, pre-production prototype vehicle. So we can forgive Toyota that I assume they're just gonna kind of carry on this textured plastic into the door panel, but we'll see what it looks like in its final form. Nice looking cloth seats. Again, pre-production pieces down here for the seat bottoms, power lumbar, and uh, manual adjustments for everything else. There's your back seat, a little bit of storage underneath. Lift this piece up. Kind of a vertical backrest, but overall a decent amount of room in the back of this Tacoma. This driving position is set up for my five foot 10 height and feels pretty good back here. It's cozy. Two USB-C ports, couple of cup holders, really sharp looking interior in this new Tacoma. I understand that the blue may not be your flavor, but uh, there's some pretty cool designs in this new truck. It's functional. I love the use of physical controls and buttons. The tech works well. We've gone off road in the Tacoma. We've done a lot of on-road driving. This truck really rides and handles well on the coil sprung rear suspension. Big difference from the old leaf springs on the SR and base models. Uh, it's a really nice driving truck. 2.4 turbo has plenty of torque. Made it with the eight-speed auto. It's a really, really good drivetrain. We have this front air dam for better fuel efficiency. You can pull it off if you're going off-road, but in this two-wheel drive truck, you'll probably just be towing and using it as kind of a work truck slash daily driver. Not gonna be going too far off-road in two-wheel drive. Plastic bed liner. We have a damped tailgate here. No power or tailgate option on this TRD Sport here today. Towing here should be between somewhere between 6,000 and 6,500 pounds. I'll put the exact number in the description. Pretty good approach, departure, and breakover angles. Got to remove that front air down though. And the TRD Sport has this hood scoop at the top. Let's pop the hood, take a look at this 2.4 turbo. 18 inch wheels, General Grabber HTS, 60 tires in 265, 65R18. Let's see, is this hood scoop functional? I don't think it is. It's just there for show, that's okay. Zero W20 oil. I'm a big fan of this new 2.4 liter turbo. It has good torque, it sounds decent, not too loud, not too harsh. A lot better drivability than the old Atkinson Cycle V6. It's pretty fuel efficient too, rated for 20 miles to the gallon in the city, 24 on the highway, 22 MPG combined in this TRD Sport two wheel drive. This truck looks pretty good too, painted in wind chill pearl. All right, let's hop inside. We'll show you around the front seat some, and then we'll take this for a drive. No grab handle here for the driver. A few extra little creaks and rattles in this pre-production truck. That's understandable. We have our new fully digital gauge cluster here. We can choose between one of three different views and customize each pod as we see fit. Adjustable headlights, settings for our gauge cluster brightness, auto high beams, there's our traction control off button. Reverse camera on this huge screen, looks fantastic. No off-road modes here, of course, because this isn't the four wheel drive truck, but we do get a few different drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. We'll test those out today too. We get heated seats, auto climate control, Big honking knobs, physical controls, love it. Got a 
nice big glove box here too. USB port to the side to connect to CarPlay, Android Auto, but you can also connect wirelessly too. Center console right here, good amount of room there. Place for water bottles, cup holders, your phone right in here. All right, let's go for a drive and see how this does in some canyons. Savage geese making an appearance in the video for real this time, not just in goose form. I think this 2.4 actually sounds pretty good. Bit of turbo whistle on light throttle. not too loud pretty refined character from this new Tacoma ride is very well controlled especially on these coil springs this is nice this is very nice and for just around forty thousand dollars as spec this is a pretty decent value too for this truck let's put us into sport mode see what happens No paddle shifters, but we do have some control of our own gears. Let's turn on a Mulhall on here, see if we can have a bit of fun. I still like to maintain that Toyota Tacomas are some of the fastest vehicles on back roads. If you're in a 911, watch out for someone in a Tacoma trying to get home from work. Overcoming our phone holder there with just pure accelerative forces. This handles actually quite well for a truck. The ride is just so refined, supple, controlled. And I chalk a lot of that up to that coil rear suspension. So we've got double wishbone front suspension, coil multi-link rear, of course, solid rear axle, independent front suspension, but it all handles so well. It really translates to very good ride quality and road manners from this new Tacoma. because of its size and relative light weight it's actually reasonably fun to drive on a back road the load on torque is really nice from this 2.4 8-speed auto seems to be making good decisions here in sport mode I like that brakes are strong good bite easy to modulate ABS isn't too intrusive when you want to drive your Tacoma like a sports car and you know you do. It's not too bad. It's actually surprisingly good. It feels like a nimble, agile, fun truck. I dare say it's maybe even a little bit sporty. I probably wouldn't swing for the two-wheel drive option. It would be nice to have some more off-road capability. With all the extra traction you get from a four-wheel drive system, it just seems like that would be worth it. But if you need to tow a little bit more, you don't need four-wheel drive, then they have always offered the pre-runner Tacoma and the two-wheel drive variant. We've also spent quite a bit of time in the six-speed manual Tacomas. They are a lot of fun to drive on and off-road but this eight speed really deserves a lot of credit. It's paired perfectly with this 2.4 turbo. You also get just a little bit more power with the eight speed auto trucks. In sport mode, it feels great here on a back road. Shifts are quick, concise, smooth, 
transmission seems to be making pretty good decisions on its own. I'm not going to go as far to say that this is a quantum leap from the previous gen Tacoma, but it is a huge, huge improvement from a company that usually just makes mild changes here and there. The powertrain here is a big step up. I'm very excited to drive some of the hybrid variants with the TRD Pro and Trail Hunter trucks uh, early next year. Slightly higher redline here too with the automatic truck. The manual was redlining at about 5,400 RPM. This is over 6,000. Let's take us out of sport mode, go back into normal, and see how this acts at lower speeds here. Right on time. It seems like when you're just driving this truck around casually, it just idles along. Keeps low revs. You hear that turbo whistle in the background making boost. You gotta love the torque from this motor. 317 pound-feet of torque. No shakes, no rattles, super quiet over bumps, good levels of NVH. I just wish we'd get some production panels in here. Seats are a lot more comfortable than the previous Gen Tacoma too. You don't feel like you're sitting so low in the cab. I have lots of adjustment here with my driving position. Tilting, telescoping steering wheel. Transmission just a little bit more eager to shift into top gear. We don't quite have the right highways nearby to test our adaptive cruise control system and our lane centering and everything like that. But of course, this Tacoma has the full safety suite of Toyota sensing systems, as you would expect in a new Toyota vehicle. 60 miles an hour here, very quiet, very comfortable, very refined. I'm liking it. The ride's not too busy. It's an easy truck to drive, and I think it'd be an easy truck to live with too. I love the simplicity here, I love the focus on keeping this kind of old school, kind of simple. Toyota has stuck with a bit of an old school philosophy with this new Tacoma, and I think it'll really pay off. It's both charmingly simple, yet still has a good amount of tech and feels modern. It's a good balance. Steering is super light. Good visibility all around too. And for how capable this is off-road, I've only driven the TRD off-road, not even the TRD Pro. It has really good road manners. All right, I think we'll wrap up here. That'll be the end of this review. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what the Tacoma TRD Sport two-wheel drive is like to drive on a back road. We'll spend some more time in these trucks back home in Michigan, but I figured while we're out here in the canyons, 
might as well take a few of the trucks out for a drive and see how they all feel behind the wheel. Really impressed with the new dynamics here. Road manners are fantastic. Overall, it's a nice truck. Just want to see these production door panels in action. But again, like I said, this is a pre-production prototype vehicle, and uh, I'm sure we'll see some production units coming out shortly. Not sure if they're going to make the December uh, deadline for actually producing these trucks, but hopefully they can get some out into deal a lot soon, and uh, should be a pretty good buy in any trim you need, because there's pretty much a Tacoma to fit every need out there. A lot of different setups, a lot of different trims. I'm most excited, of course, about the TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter, but even the TRD Sport and the TRD Off-Road have some pretty impressive capabilities. Good looking truck too. Taking some design language from the previous gen, but also carried on over some looks from the new Tundra. I love the sloping rear line right here. The bumper cuts into the back quarter panel. Nice wide fenders. There's so much torque here, this engine doesn't even really need to rev out much. The difference between this and the previous gen V6 with drivability, and it's pretty awesome. You gotta love that Toyota has uh, included D4S, direct and port injection with these turbo four cylinder motors. Should really stand the test of time and be good reliable engines for these trucks. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay tuned for more Toyota Tacoma content.